Good afternoon, it's Jeremy. It's Thursday, August 4th. And today I'm looking at comparing a reception of Inmarsat uh, on my uh, patch antenna as compared to my uh, dish that I use for Go 16. I used it for the hydrogen line as well. It's kind of a, an L-band type of dish. So I'd like to see how, uh, how it works on Inmarsat. So right now I'm connected to the patch antenna. I've got the uh, LNA BPF connected there on a small coax jumper, and you can see the uh, pilot light on there saying it's getting a 5 volt power from the RTL. This RTL has got a smart T on it, so it's producing power for the uh, LNA. And right now, right now I'm receiving uh, 1545.023. I'm looking at the, this is a, an ACARS 600 baud carrier there, and um, I'm looking at it on SDR Sharp as well as I'm able to look at it in MultiPSK has a mode that you can examine uh, these packets in. It's called Aero. So I'm in the Aero mode here on MultiPSK at 600 baud as well. So there's the hex dump of the um, of the uh, signal that we're receiving. So if I go back to SDR Sharp, the level here is around minus 45. So now I'm going to put the dish on with the LNA and just see what the comparison is. Okay, so now I have the uh, dish connected and uh, when we look at SDR Sharp here, we're seeing we're at minus 40 to minus 35. So I've got a good 5 dB, I'm peaking at 10 dB. I just did a quick um, orientation of the dish. I didn't perfect it. I'm sure I can get another 5 dB out of it. Of course, the uh, don't forget the dish is linearly uh, polarized and the uh, I believe the Inmarsat has a right-hand circular polarization or some form of circular polarization. So obviously it's not the perfect match, but anyways, I mean, if uh, carrying a patch antenna, you can put in your knapsack. The dish is not so easy to carry around. Anyways, I just wanted to do that test as a comparison. Oh yeah, one more detail. Uh, the satellite I'm looking at, at my location here from the previous post, um, there are two satellites visible, um, four, I think it's 4F3 and 3F5. But from my QTH here, um, I can only see 4F3. It's at uh, longitude 54 degrees west, which means an azimuth of about 146 degrees. The other satellite is the other side of the building here, which blocks the uh, visibility.